Hello everyone and welcome back to the second video for the HPI WR8 Nitro car. Today we've got a nice bit of sort of area here where we can uh, break the engine in, run it in, get it all set up and then we will find somewhere a bit more suitable for obviously the rally car itself. Typical British weather, one minute it is lashing down with rain, the next minute you know the sun's kind of half out so hopefully we're not going to get soaked doing this video and uh, it comes across really well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set the car up itself because of we just need to check that the fail safe's working. Um, we need to add a bit of air filter oil to the air filter. So I'm just going to go ahead, do that, get set up, and then we're going to jump straight in and get the engine broke in. So see you in a second. Okay then, so we're all set up. I've done the fail safe. So obviously if we turn our transmitter on, turn the car on. So if we then lose signal with the transmitter, the car is then going to automatically break which you want because of if you do lose signal and these take off then the chances are they're going to go <laughs> through a bush into a ditch hit a curb hit a wall and you really don't want that so it's so important to read the manual guys and get these cars set up the fuel we are using is uh the opti fuel is 20 percent. that's what we're going to use to to get it run in and then we might go on to the 25 percent. so we're going to now fill the tank up All right, so we're all set up now, just need to prime it up and then start it up, so let's go ahead and do that. A few moments later... Okay, so a little bit of setting up, we've got it running, it's now just idling, doing its first tank of fuel, so let me go ahead and show you. Just something about a nitro car, just when they're ticking over, they just sound so good, let alone when they're running flat out, so we're going to It's just uh, use its first tank of fuel. We'll do the second tank, and then on the third one, when we can run it round half, uh, half roll, we'll show you that one. So, see you in a sec. Okay then, so that's the braking procedure completely done. As you can see with the British weather, it's starting to change, so hopefully the wind's not gonna mess the audio up too much. So now we can run this uh, full throttle. I'm not gonna focus too much on the uh, high needle tuning it. We're, we're gonna do that another day, uh, mainly because we're just on a road, and if we start going too fast, I don't wanna lose control and smash it to the curb, and it's all over. So we're just gonna do some little runs here now at some higher speeds, and you can kind of get a feel for how fast this car can really go.
Okay, so we've got a new location now and as you can see it's a proper muddy road so I'm hoping there's not too many big puddles that you know if we suck in a bit of water it's obviously going to cut out so we could cause us a few issues but let's uh, let's get it on this track I'm sure we're going to have so much fun now. So as you can see we were probably hitting those uh, muddy puddles maybe a bit too hard, sucked up a bit too much water but we'll give it a good clean and then it'll be going again so it's no problem, it's all part of the fun and games and that's the reason why I really like this hobby, you know, you just, uh, you can have so much fun with it and, and it just always produces smiles, you know. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe because of I've got so many more projects, so many more RC cars that I want to show you guys. And yeah, we'll be sending them in locations like this, getting them muddy, getting them dirty, and then uh, cleaning them up and, and getting them going again. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch the video. Thank you.